Well, hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for joining me. So, another unboxing video today. As usual, the same rules apply. You will know what this is from the uh, video description. I don't know what this is at all at the moment of opening, so this will be a surprise for me on camera, if not for you. Um, okay, what I can tell you, it's likely to be some sort of boom box or some sort of audio equipment. I can also more or less guarantee that it's broken in some form or other. Either the radio won't work or the cassette will be inoperative or something. Uh, so, packaging looks quite nice though, to be fair. So, ah, okay. Right, so just bear with me whilst I uh, kind of tip this out as carefully as I, as I can. Right, I'll just just lose the box. Right, okay, I'm back. So, might be a slightly noisy on opening. Um, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna cut some of the tape a moment. And I'm just muting some of the, some of the noise, I think, because this is quite, uh, yeah, quite a messy little, quite a noisy on opening. I know my camera microphone doesn't like all this tape, but if we can spend just a moment protecting the, uh, the, the bubble wrap, makes a heck of a difference, means we can reu reuse it all later. So, always worth keeping the tape if we can. Uh, keeping the bubble wrap, I mean. Right, so anyways, we're almost there now. I bet it's quite funny for any of my uh, any of my stateside viewers. Um, generally, people uh, on YouTube in particular just rip, tear, and bust and cut all this stuff open. Um, actually, in the, in the moment in the UK, anyway, the economic situation isn't great, and uh, would you believe? Even bubble wrap is fiendishly expensive. So, uh, always want to try and reuse it if we can. Anyways, here we are then. Here's the job at hand. There we go. And this one is the RCM60. Wow. RCM60. No, indeed. Let me just try and think. I believe I could be mistaken, and I'll have to check the packaging on this, but I'm pretty sure that the 60 actually came from the United States. Um, I believe. Wow. Yeah, you may know about the uh, about the JVCs. We've got the, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and M90s. Um, so this is a very rare beast. This is actually the uh, the RCM60. Um, I don't know how well it works, if at all, but um, but gosh, we're gonna have some... Yeah, the eject button doesn't even work, from what I can tell. I'm not gonna force anything yet. Um, the whole thing may become a very expensive ornament. We never know just yet. So, um, it's, what can I tell you? It's, it's pretty filthy. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty grotty looking. I don't think it actually works, to be honest. Certainly not by much at the moment. However, the original aerials are intact. The tips are intact. The switches are all present and correct. So that might only sound like small stuff, but actually they're quite, if you, if you can get those, then that's half the battle. There is a dent in the aerial, but we'll see, see to that if we can. Um, so yeah, heaven only knows what condition it's actually in. But please do subscribe and hit the notifications bell because what we'll do is we'll plug this in, we'll test it, diagnose any issues and get it repaired and get some, uh, get some work done on it. But I've got to say, it's super cool to have this in the country. I can't believe it's, uh, it's got here so quickly. So that's just fantastic news. So yeah, please do check out the other videos on the channel. We've got a whole bunch of boom boxes, um, eight track stuff, personal stereos, all that kind of stuff. Loads of stuff coming in for repair um, and it's gonna be great good fun. So um, stick along, hit the notifications bell and I'll see you soon. Thanks again, bye-bye.